I did talk to the 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 day, but Jesus, good day to you, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Fred of Esgornia here, and I'm here from Ireland on St. Patrick's Day. Well, no, technically, no. It's a day after St. Patrick's Day, and I'm recording while I'm not hungover. Yes! Okay, just a sort of confusion about that. Y yes, I'm English. No, I'm not living there. I'm living in a piece of heaven called Carlo. Worst county ever. Anyway, I digress. Good day to you, and I suppose happy St. Patrick's Day to some of you, considering... Well, considering... I don't know what you're considering, to be honest. If you're not locked and watching this, then... I salute you. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. Now, if I remember rightly... Yeah, we were in this whole kind of culto place. I had to cut the recording last time, which is why I didn't finish the dialogue session. Basically, what we found out was that in order to get past that Frax and Shark and look at the, um, you know, the... There's this giant Frax and Shark outside. So to get past him, I either have to kill him using poison, or blow up the Colto tank, which will cause him to run or something. It was something along those lines. It's been over a week. And these two tried to kill me. Lovely man. Well, lovely man and lovely woman. Great couple. Okay, if I start doing that just randomly, I'm sorry. I was just getting into... You're kidding me. You people never cease to amaze me. Charge! Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm being hit by circles. It's my worst fear. Oh, look at you. Run. Run for your life. Floria to death. Come on, death. Ow, oh, I've been poisoned. You're no match for the power of the light side. Okay, let's take the remains. What are these? I wonder what... Oh, yeah, the Cryoburn grenades. I have heard of them. Republic soldier. Did you really have to be caught? That would have come in handy earlier. That's a breath mask. Basically, it's um, a gas mask. It means you can walk through poison gas without being harmed. Very useful. Okay, antidote kitten. Some computer spikes. Oh! I am immune to gas even without a poison gas mask. I'd start. Nope. I don't believe in opening doors twice. I just believe in closing them. That's why. Oh. Oh. Average plasma mine. I always do like to keep a stock of mines because they're genuinely useful. I remember. Like, I remember that. There was. I always think whenever I think of mines and their usefulness. I th Oh, for the love of crap. I'll be back in just a minute. <sighs> Good day to you, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Okay, sorry about that. Just, um, as you probably heard, there was a rather inconvenient phone call, which led to me not being able to continue the recording for obvious reasons. As, my, as epic as Ride of the Valkyries is as a ringtone, it's still not really the most convenient of things to have playing in the background when you're just walking at uh, a very slow speed around a ridiculously small... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm ranting. I shall stop ranting because I find when- Oh, Jesus Christ! Bloody hell! What the bloody hell was that? Bloody- Ugh, Jesus. I'm dying. But now I'm okay. Drugs, people, drugs. Ah, uh, just as- it's Just stabbing yourself with a- Activating airlock control. Engaging airlock seals. Begin airlock sequence. No, right. blah 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 blah. Okay, now first, because we are prudent. En avant. Now, I know I actually got into a little bit of a debate with someone over this. How you know, the underwater section. I do like it. I think it, I actually, I still think I, I really enjoyed Manan, the atmosphere and. Pretty much, yeah, the atmosphere, I think, more than anything else. But, um, this is the only thing that really annoyed me. The speed that the, well, the, um, the environmental suit allows you to go at. I mean, I agree that, you know, it... Hello? Where? Okay, and where the hell am I going? The wrong fricking way, that's where. Typical. Ah, never mind. Yeah. You know, how it'd be silly for, you know, you if you're able to run underwater. And I agree, because when KOTOR 2 did it, it did look ridiculous. But at the same time, Star Wars has never minded bending the laws of physics before. 
I mean, look at the look at the Death Star. When the Death Star goes to blow up a planet in the Star Wars films, all the lasers come together and then fire one big one. According to the laws of physics, those lasers will go everywhere and blow up everything. So you can kind of understand. I, I mean, you think they might have just been able to make it a little bit faster from a ga for a gameplay perspective, but still, I I'm not really gonna argue because I do. I do agree, it looks stupid when KOTOR 2 did it, so, meh. Okay, anyway, why am I talking about mundane things such as, such as underwater environmental, oh god! Oi! Freaky fish! Come at me, bro! Winning? Winning? Sorry. I'm just gonna say that from now on, because it's... The hell? What the? No. Oh, look, no wonder I'm sitting Q. It's like amnesia all over again. Speaking of that, ah, oh, why am I bothering? The people who watch me for amnesia aren't going to be watching me for anything else. I'm just saying, I'm still trying to get around that problem with the game. I'm trying to bloody. Bah! I is angry. Can you really blame me? I didn't get the game off ski Steam though, so I'm thinking maybe of just, you know, down. Oh, speaking of Steam. I just got a game yesterday. I spent, I got a voucher for Christmas, I just used it. I got Shogun 2 Total War. Worst possible time, because I just found out that the Fall of the Samurai expansion pack that's coming out is actually standalone, which means I wouldn't need the first game for it to work. But, you see my point. I always did like that sound. Now, see that thing over there? That thing is what's guarding the star map. He's big, he's freakish, and he's ugly. And, there's this thing. So, what you can do you can do two things. You can feed toxins into the vents, which poisons all the fish and gets you dark side points. Or you can access the fuel tank pressure control, which does it by peaceful means. And that's what I'm gonna do. Operator warning. Hydroleum unstable at 4 million sangen. No, that's sangi. I was thinking, isn't that the Japanese for minister? But I'm pretty sure the minister for the friend. No, ah? no I know what that means. Yeah, never mind. Sangi. I think it's the Japanese for minister. Uh, anyway, fuel injector pod at zero of one three million sangam. Okay, so display pressure status. I'll be right back. I'm just going to. I'm gonna do this. I I never with puzzles. I never really believed in showing them because I always found when people show these things they're just boring. So I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll I'll tell you what to do afterwards. I'm just gonna do it all in advance. I'll be just a sec. Give me a minute. Boom, bitch! Okay, um... Yeah, I always did believe in going out... Ooh, sorry. I'm going out with a bang. I'll tell you basically what the objective was to fill the container pod so that that thing over there, well, that you saw just explode in the cutscene, would, well, explode. Which is what I made it do. If you like, I think, yeah, what I'll do is... I'll look up the instructions on the... Oh, God. No! Fuck! Crash to desktop, damn your eyes! Okay, hold on, the game's crashed to desktop, that's gonna be a monster to edit. Give me a minute. 